uh, people are afraid that uh, if NATO get involved, the World War III will start. And World War III already started. Uh, it didn't get to the nuclear part of it, and hopefully it will never get to it. But uh, dictator is actually poking around, trying to see what West is afraid of. And it seems right now it is afraid of a lot of things. But supplying Ukraine with the military aids and doing economic sanctions, this is the part of the war that already started between West and Russia. So, and this uh, dictator, Putin, can push this button any time because he's kind of crazy. So, uh, don't get, don't be afraid. Uh, protect civilians. Uh, start shooting down crews and ballistic missiles. Don't shoot planes yet. Just start slowly going, showing him that, no, you cannot scare us. And this will protect civilians because children are dying and civilians are dying. And this is a horrible situation. Don't be afraid. So I, I think these times um, there is no person who hasn't been affected by, uh, by the invasion uh, of Russia. Um, in Ukraine. Um, we personally came from Ukraine, from Kiev. Uh, being here for 20 years, we tried to help, but these times we are doubling, tripling our tries to be helpful. And it affects um, lots of aspects of our life too, because we are nervous, we are not sleeping, we are crying, we are constantly communicating dealing with translations, volunteering. But the most uh, affecting part that we see how people die over there. And we have relatives and friends over there. We hear uh, from them the real stories, how brave they are. And it just breaks our heart how we are helpless um, other than what we can do. Um, we, we are just doing our best and we are asking uh, to help more somehow of, uh, from Canada for people who suffer so much. Well, I have a, a bit of worry uh, that uh, when conflict or war goes for the longer time, some people, some countries that not get really involved, people there start to get frustrated and start to get uh, kind of trying to forget about what's going on and keep with their life. But this conflict, this war, is not something that you need to, you can forget. This is entire civilization is like kind of fighting against the tyranny and everybody, everyone should be aware, should understand that the people dying in thousands, civilian, and as I say, the, Russia has borders with many countries and you don't know, you don't know what's going to happen with you con your country, especially in Canada, I said there was a big border with Russia and Arctic and there are some misunderstanding there, so who knows what's going to happen, so be aware, try to stand, stand against the tyranny. For democracy, this is what the uh, people need to do and be together on that.